Hello, I'm going to demonstrate how to do uh, peer evaluations for uh, CS230. We have a project, an exercise here on entrepreneurism startup organization with ethics. And if you noticed, it's uh, peer evaluated. And as we've discussed in class, um, we are going to be doing it using a Google shared sheet drive google drive shared sheet so i want to go over in video how to do that very briefly though i just want to show you this project so you can understand what's going on in the sheet um, this is a project where there's um, a set of items um, very quickly you can see a business proposal there's a number of different requirements i'm not going to go over here's talking about cultural policies again followed by requirements item three is about the ethic policy it has a couple components and a board of uh, directors uh, experimentation here is about um, how to do experiments to test some of your uh, outcomes and here then finally is the actual delivery of this project this exercise with a PDF and a presentation that you do with uh, YouTube so uh, moving on the big thing is to talk about the shared sheet you'll be invited um, to use this um, first day of class we'll have set that up so if for some reason you're not invited you just have to email uh, your instructor me and we'll get that set up so if you notice here um, this is has multiple tabs this is a group project and you're going to be evaluating all of the other groups so if you wanted to for example uh, evaluate group two you would go to the group two tab that's very important if you wanted to evaluate group six's work you would go to group six tab uh, the next thing you notice is that in the column there's a list of currently enrolled students and if your name for example is uh, Eric Estrada you're gonna come to this row and that is the thing that you're going to fill out just that row for group six here and you're gonna basically be answering giving point values for all of these different items related to the requirements of the project now what you'll notice on top of each column there'll be a title and it'll talk about what this is related to so for example there is a link uh, that you need for your business proposal that you have to have at least 500 words and so here you can see you give a value of zero to four and these are the recommendations of where that falls now if you want to give something like a three you can do that um, you enter in the value but let's say I incorrectly entered six and I hit return it's going to tell you no you're restricted to entering in a value from again um, that range on top so company name is one of the things that you have to give and again if you're evaluating group six's documentation and you are Eric you come to your row and for company name if they gave it you give a zero or a one um, now if you mouse over it'll tell you again giving you suggestions in that range as to what's there that's a binary range uh, the next thing is long-term vision uh, and again you can click in here and see what that means that range um, it gives you values uh, if it's not done of course a zero if it's you would give one point if they only gave one of the following pieces of information goals uh, idea origina uh, or origination proposal three proposal values and mission statement and four value to society so um, if I'll fix that typo but if uh, they only gave one of those four items you'd give one point and you can see you get two points if you gave two three points if they gave three 
and they get all the points for if they gave all that information in the long-term vision. And again, you'll understand the project because you'll have done it yourself, but if you uh, take a look at it, here's the long-term vision statement, and there were four items that you had to give. So these questions here, these reflect what you had to do. Another thing you had to do is list the teams with their uh, names, bios, and strengths. So again, zero through four. Now you notice I didn't give one as a suggestion. Um, you know, you can use common sense. You can even put in 2.5 if you wanted. Um, but uh, this is like some typical ideas of what you might do for that range zero to four. So again, if you're evaluating group six, you're in the group six tab. If you're the reviewer and your name is Eric, you would be going to there and filling it out for teams. So let's just go continue to go over each column. Uh, strategy, again, if you go back to um, the project, you'll see strategy is there. Uh, and it talks about that it has to be for three to five years. You have to share at least one case uh, study of the closest potential co competitor. You have to list key milestones and checkpoints and how you're going to differentiate yourself from others in the in the field. So again, these are suggestions. And you notice I kind of jumped from zero, not done, to six. Some things that they might get, eight. They might be missing this information in 10. Again, you're going to use your uh, range here if there's something else in here that they're missing. Um, but these are some suggestions. And again, the range is listed 0 to 10. Uh, slogan is something, a six-word slogan that you have to do. So again, that's a done or not done. Uh, culture, you have to t give talk about what's important in terms of cultural policies, core values, motivation, and summary. right? And so this is what this 0 to 5 points is about. And again, oops, if you click inside, um, what this is about length. So it had to be 150 words. And so you can see this is a range of 0 to 5 values. Here's the core values itself, 0 to 5. That was one of the elements um, under culture that you had to give. And you can see some suggested values depending on some things that might be missing or if everything's complete. Motivation was another thing. Um, again, this is 0 to 3 and some suggested point values for uh, sub uh, completion, not, not fully completed. The cultural summary was something that needed to be given. Again, that's a you either did it or didn't. Moving on, um, if you go to the next section, we're talking about the ethics policy and board. Again, this is a minimum of 500 words, uh, and you can see some of the things for both ethics and policy, even some tips here. Um, of course, you have all the material we've gone through in class and things that you've looked at online and reading to help you, too. So length is, uh, again, um, a range from 0 to 5. Here is the policy with some suggested values. This goes from 0 to 15. This is a larger um, element of that particular section on ethics. The board, you were supposed to list um, some people on the board, real people. Um, they can be tech leaders, famous people. <clears throat> uh, this is who you would like to have in your board, give a brief bio, and why you chose them. Uh, moving on, the next item was about experimentation, and you can see there's a couple different items here, uh, experiments to test your OKRs of your strategy, and that's really referring up above to the strategy, your OKRs. This is something we'll talk about in class, dealing with um, outcomes uh, and key milestones. So uh, anyways, going back, experimentation is how you're going to set up an experiment uh, to test um, basically uh, your OKRs and how you might create a cheap prototype, you know, what kind of tools are you going to use to create it, 
Um, how are you, can you involve potential customers in your experiment? These are things that you're going to talk about here. And so, anyways, if you take a look at this, um, this is a range of points from 0 to 10 with some suggested things. Priorities was another thing of that section, which is um, 0 or 2, kind of binary. Uh, they had to specify what was going to be uh, tackled first in terms of priorities. Um, the next and last thing was that you submitted um, you know, your PDF and presentation. So four points for that. And then 10 points, there was a YouTube presentation. And things should be clear and visible that you can read them on the screen. So uh, again, uh, you're going to be evaluating the other groups. Um, you'll know what group you're in. Um, and you'll be able to see the other groups. Um, if you go, for example, to your course. Uh, mine's going to look a little different, but there is a section for you um, called CS230 Groups that you can click on. And you'll see um, the group that you're in and uh, other groups uh, too here. Um, and then everything is going to be posted for this particular exercise on the discussion board here under submission. So you'll be able to actually see the PDF. Obviously, there's nothing there yet because the course hasn't started. But you'll see the postings, one for each group there. And it should have the title of group one, group two, group three, and so on. So you'll know how to get it, both the PDF as well as the URL to the YouTube. Thank you.